Welcome to the video. So today I've combined all the You are not the boss. Redo your intro. Welcome. How much did this deck cost me? Everything. Stay tuned to find out. There we go. Look at that. Money talks. <laughs> Okay, opening hand, we have Mind Stone. That's always fantastic. I could always play that into Murder World. Keep some space clear. Cerebro 2. I think I want to hold on to Reality Stone. I will play the Mind Stone into Murder World. Keep, try to keep some of my board space clear. I think I boy I really want to play reality stone in the great web I will play both of these down so if the echo gets pulled that's fine yes it is almost assuredly a Cerebro 2 deck like and subscribe Okay, I will play Time, and I have to play the Reality Stone. I don't want to get jammed in Great Web. And I think I just played on the Nico because I'm going to run out of... of uh, run out of cost to play her. Else is a decent draw. And Blob is decent as well. Okay, it is not Cerebro 2. Thanos down and the time stone. Another time stone, maybe. And then I can always play down Red Hulk. Walk them to blink. Okay, they're rolling the dice. And Red Hulk, if they double Beta Ray Bill, it's plus six. Twenty-three. Very curious snap. But uh, I don't really care about Conquest. <laughs> so, so we're staying into it. They might be psyching me out. Uh, but I can only play one card, I think. Unless it's Hope and Elsa. So I guess I just play down the Red Hulk. And they get me with some crazy Galactus play. We are the future. Okay. They were going for the Psych God, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the eight cubes. Thank you for your donation. Editor Nerd here. I didn't quite realize my opponent was BMing me. If I had, this is how I would have responded. Uh, and this is kind of how the deck comes together. You want to play some of your lower power cards and then switch that into your higher power cards later. You can get a discounted scar. You can blink into your higher power cards. So on a last turn, you could play Cole and Scar. Like, ultimately, that's an option if you get down enough. Big cost cards. Uh, hope helps facilitate that. And we were able to get out of here with eight cubes.
On to the next round. Okay, so how much did this deck cost me? Discount Thanos? Take it away. 100,000 gold or 1,260 US dollars. The universe shall be set right. All right, next game. Soul Stone and two six cost cards. We drew Elsa pretty early. That's always nice. Pet Mansion, only one place to play. Do I get down the Soul Stone now? Turn two, three, four. Yeah, we'll get it down now. And then I will play Elsa mid. Oh, discounts are nice. So they can Professor X next turn. So I'm gonna snap into this. I want to say it's likely they Professor X left. So maybe it's mid. Hey, my Professor X mid. So we will do this, that way I can at least, if they want a Professor X me left, uh, I don't just outright, they also lose their turn. Okay, they didn't, they Professor X did. Okay, they learned from last game uh, where they Professor X a different lane. This may be a cannonball play. It could also be a goblin play. Thanos? I think I play Thanos. And then the last turn... Because Cannonball can only move one. And if they have Shang-Chi... They... Oh, they won't have priority. Hmm. Eh, that's fine. We'll, we'll play this out. Oh, so is it always Cannonball right? They have priority, though. So it would have to be a Sean. So we'll just we'll just say Sean doesn't exist. It's not gonna happen. Sean doesn't exist. Sean doesn't exist. Uh, let's just, let's, let's order these a little differently. Uh, space dog for, or do I, no, I don't want to draw, actually. I want more cards in my deck with Blob. So, Blob next. Space Stone, and I don't want to mess with locations. And they have priority, so... Nice, Blob might pull this out. That's a very strong play. Okay, we missed on the White Widow, so now it's a few Blob. Came through. Listen, money works. <laughs> that, is, that is the lesson you should take away from this deck. Uh, series 5 cards are strong. We were definitely helped out with Elysium. That snap might have been to try to scare us away, or they figured the Professor X play would be strong enough. But the fact that they had priority means Cannonball couldn't win here, so they had to Shang-Chi. So that was how they win, but they might not have had Sean in their deck. They might not have drawn him. And again, money, money, money. Very effective. All righty, now we're bouncing over into Ladder. We have Pyro Zen. Mockingbird is a good draw. And we have Space Stone and Reality Stone. 
Uh, I hold. Because actually, I could play down Space Throne and move the dagger. Do I do that? Uh, I also have hope. I think I get rid of Nidavu layer. So I'm going to play Reality Stone here, Space Stone here. The reason I'm getting rid of it is I already have big cards. And this is something that uh, the other deck potentially could benefit from, Nidavalier. So I don't even want to roll that dice. This might be a Professor X deck when I see... Okay, it's a Beta Rill. Bill. Oh, Mockingbird, what a, what a horrible loss. I definitely play down Hope. Next turn, I can play down Dagger and Jeff. I can move the Dagger to New York. I also want to be aware of a Professor X anyway, maybe. Jeff always makes me lean that way, even though it's clearly a Hammers deck. Play our two cards here. Next turn, we will be able to play a six cost card or our two one cost and something else. Wind, aid my hand. Do I decide to play into flooding is the question. Oh, I actually have seven energy. I think I decide to play into flooding in that case because I can always move the cards out to New York. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll play down Thanos. We'll play down Soulstone. They're gonna snap into it, which probably means they have Jane. So this would get up to 12, 10 with the Space Stone. I would have 12. They have Jeff, I have Jeff, that's a wash. So they would need to play Jane left, which is a lot of power to commit there. <laughs> okay, just totally unexpected, no problem. So they can't win mid, or they can't, or they can't win left. I think I play for all lanes because they could move out Jeff. I also could move out cards in flooding. This New York just creates all types of confusion. So I'm going to stay in this because they're just as confused as me. They did not play Jane, so they might not have hammers. So I think I just load up right is what I want to do. If they do have the hammer and move Jeff over, then that would just tie because of Soulstone, I think, if my math is right, but I'm not running that math, so. <laughs> they have priority, so they can't Sean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock this in. This seems like a strong enough play. How many points is that, 12? Oh, nice, because the lizard got debuffed. Okay, this was the right play. And then finish it out with Scar. Strong win for our first game on ladder. Against a little bit of an off-meta deck. But also, you can kind of say what I'm playing is off-meta at this point. Banos is not meta. And I also have pure Series 5 cards in here. And, uh, again, money, money, money. Okay, next up we have Tony Kuko. Decent starting hand, that's what I like to see. Lower cost cards. I could play hard for Abby right now with Space Stone and Jeff. Maybe I do to just deny them. Whoa. You didn't see that coming? <laughs> okay. Boy, they really wanted that Abbey draw. Okay, so I think I just play into Eternity range in that case. 
So clearly we're playing an ongoing deck. Ant-Man Dazzler. Wasp makes me think potentially uh, Valkyrie. So I think I just continue to play there for stats. Okay, and they kind of gave it up anyway. And now I'm going to play the rock. because I can turn that into something else, potentially. So I guess I'm gonna play it here. That way if I can maybe get the Elsa buff. Okay, another hammer deck. So I could play six, two six cost cards instead. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to play down Blob? Red Hulk? I'll play down Blob. And if they Sean, then let's just make them Sean. Okay, so they're definitely getting the hammer. This could be a Valkyrie play. A hammer and Valkyrie. They have priority though. So Ant-Man is plus four. So I'd move Jeff out and then I'd play Or would I move Jeff out? I could always blink the rock. That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I moved Jeff out. We'll just see if they have Sean or not. And then just play the Red Hulk here. Oh, and I might as well play the rock mid for uh, extra power. Whoa, look at all those cards. This should be enough, but the Dazzler also got buffed in a significant way. Okay, enough to win. Yeah, I missed it. There we go. Look at that. Money talks. Oh. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. Would Thanos have won? Red Hulk is at a le Oh, Thanos would have won. Please forgive me, Lord Thanos, please. I was going to like your video, but not anymore. Okay, so this is where we're gonna end it. Uh, to break down some of the cards in the deck, again, they're all series five cards, so it's definitely a pricey deck. Uh, I really just did this for fun. Uh, of course, I showed some wins. I also included a loss or two. Uh, this deck definitely loses, so this kind of proves that just because you can afford the best cards does not mean that you're going to walk into wins. You really need a good balanced deck. I also have a series of gameplay videos where I use just a pure series two deck and I'm able to win. So it really isn't about the deck necessarily. So you have a lot of different and weird synergies here. You have White Widow, which can ultimately be a 2-6, and depending on the locations, that's good. You have Nico with her different spells that you can use. You, of course, have the Infinity Stones and all of their flexibility. You have Scar, Red Hulk, and Blob. That's a good combination of power there. Call Obsidian, Mockingbird can be played for cheap with the Infinity Stones. We have Blink. I'd only use this if you want to have fun and mess around. You can get the occasional win, uh, but I wouldn't advise it for any type of serious climbing. Uh, and so, that's the deck. Hope you had fun watching. Until next time, take care. Why are you still here?